The Epistle of James, chapter 3. My brethren, be not many masters, knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. For in many things we offend all. If any man offend not in the word, the same is a perfect man, and able also to bridle the whole body. Behold, we must put bits in the horses' mouths, that they may obey us, and we turn about their whole body. Behold also the ships which are they, which though they be so great, and are driven of fierce winds, yet are they turned without a very small helm? Whithsoever the governor listens. Even so the tongue is a little member, and boasts great things. Behold how great a matter of little fire kindles. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity, so is the tongue among our members that it defiles the whole body and sets on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fi the fire of hell. For every kind of beasts and birds and of serpents and things of the sea is tamed, and has been tamed of mankind. But the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Therefore bless we God, even the Father, and therewith curse we men, which are made after the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceeds blessings and cursings. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. Does a fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter? Can the fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries, either vine, figs? So can no fountain, both yet salt water, yield salt, salt water and fresh. Who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him shew out of a good conversation his works with meekness and wisdom. But if you have bitter envying and strive in your hearts, glory not and lie against the truth. This wisdom descends not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. For where envying is strife is, there is confusion on every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. Chapter 4 From whence come wars and fightings among you? Come they not hence even of your lusts that war in your members? You lust and have not, you kill and desire to have, and cannot obtain. You fight and war, yet you have not, because you ask not. You ask and receive not, because you ask amiss, that you may consume it upon your own lusts. You adulterers and adulteresses, know you not the friendship of the world is in enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. Do you think that the scripture says in vain, the spirit that dwells in us is lust to envy? But he gives more grace, wherefore he said, God resists the proud, but gives grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee, flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Be afflicted and mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning, and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. Speak not evil one of another, brethren, but he speaks evil of his brother, and judges his brother, speaking evil of the law, and judges the law. But if thou judge the law, thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. There is one lawgiver who is able to save and destroy, who art thou that judged another. Go to now, you that say, today or tomorrow we will go unto such a city, and continue there a year, and buy and sell, and get gain. Whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time, and the, then vanishes away. For that you ought say, if the Lord will, we shall live, and do this, or that. But now you rejoice in your boastings, all such rejoicing is evil. Therefore to him that knows to do good, and does it not, to him it is sin. Chapter 5. Go to now, you rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that come upon you. Your riches are corrupted, and your garments are moth-eaten. 
Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. You have, re you have heaped treasure together for the last days. Behold the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud. Cries, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabbath. You have lived in pleasure on earth, and have been wanton. You have nurtured your hearts as in the day of slaughter. You have condemned and killed the just, and have done not resist you. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husband's man waited for the precious fruit of the earth, and had long patience for it until he received the earthly and latter rain. Be you also patient. Establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord draws near. Grudge not one against another, brethren, lest you be condemned. Behold the judge standing before the door. Take, my brethren, the prophets who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. Behold, we count them happy to which endure. You have heard the patience of Job and have seen the end of the day of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and tender. But above all things, my brethren, swear not, neither by heaven, neither by earth, neither by any other oath, but let your yes be yes, and your no be no, lest you fall into condemnation. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall have save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he has committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another, that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Alas, when a man is subject to like passions as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth, and one convert him, so let him know that he which converts the sinner from the error of his way shall save his soul from death, and shall hide a multitude of sins. Thank you, Lord. In your loving name we pray. We love you with all our hearts. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.